Hi, my name's Owen Gregory. Um, I'm 12. I like to play video games and uh, play with my friends outside. Spina bifida is a type of neural tube defect that occurs when a baby's neural tube fails to develop or close properly. The literal meaning for spina bifida is split spine. Typically occurring within the first 28 days of pregnancy while the neural tube is forming, spina bifida often occurs before a woman knows she is pregnant. The cause is unknown. Spina bifida can range from mild to severe. The severity depends on everything from the size of the opening to the location on the spine. Basically, you know, it's something that happens, you know, uh, you know, in utero uh, to the baby. So basically, with, with Owen's case, um, his spine uh, was exposed uh, while in utero. Um, so he had a hole in his back. Um, and due to that, uh, when he was born, he had um, surgery on day one uh, to uh, basically uh, close up the hole um, in his back. They actually call it uh, the snowflake, uh, a snowflake uh, disability because it affects each person differently. Um, so, you know, there is no like, you know, when you're when you're expecting and your baby is diagnosed with spina bifida, there's really no blueprint, you know, or anything that telling you what you could expect uh, when your when your child is born. It could be anywhere from, you know, right, being almost fully paralyzed, depending on the location of the opening in their back, uh, to kids like Owen, who you know were lower in the back and, and have a lot of functions and. To, you know, there's even some cases where people go throughout most of their life without even knowing they had spina bifida. In Owen's case, uh, it, it affects his uh, bladder, uh, his uh, bowels, and uh, basically his lower extremities as far as his uh, his left, say like basically from his left calf down on his left leg, and then his right leg's a lot stronger and affects more of his right foot than anything else on his right side. The presentation does vary quite a bit from person to person. Um, so really when um, someone has um, this condition or diagnosis, you're really treating the patient like we like we would in all cases, but especially in the case of spina bifida, you don't know what to expect prior to seeing um, the patient until they come into your clinic. How has spina bifida impacted your life? It's a bit challenging to run, I, I think, than more like people without my disability. I think it's easier for them to run instead of um, like me. I have to work more, work harder because I have left less muscle in my legs. Um, I have more like upper body strength than other people because I can't really strengthen my legs as much as them. It, it, to me, it's honestly amazing to see how Owen deals with it. Um, because, you know, it, it's, it, it's, you know, as a parent, you never, you know, you always think the worst of things and it's, oh, how's this going to make my child's life? And um, the way he's handled it has been amazing, honestly. Um, I think it's actually helped him mature because um, he, he, he deals with things that other kids his age has never have never had to deal with. Um, you know, so, you know, he's got to deal with, he's got to do um, a catheter um, every three hours to, to empty his bladder. So he's got to make sure he's remembering that uh, when he's at school, he's got to go to the nurse twice a day. So he's got to make sure he remembers to go to the nurse twice a day to take care of that. Um, and then, you know, we actually have um, a bowel management program. Um, actually, we're switching over to a new one, which is working out well. Um, you know, that he also has to deal with on, on a nightly basis. I'd say for us that, you know, it's always trying to find that balance between helping him do certain things and then and having him kind of take over from us as he's gotten older here and more mature, gaining some more independence. Because, um, you know, especially in the beginning when we're transi transitioning certain things over, it's, it's difficult for him, it's not easy. Uh, he's got to learn something new. He's going to struggle. He's going to get upset. Um, he's going to get angry. He's going to ask why he's has spina bifida. You know, why did he have to have it? And 
you know, and then he works his way through things and you watch it and, you know, and then he gains more independence and in taking over more of the stuff that we used to do. But that's always the hardest part, I think, as a parent is kind of resisting that urge to reach in and help. How do ONP professionals help patients with spina bifida? Really, the most important thing is looking at that patient and what they want and what they need. And um, Jason's right in that he owns such an incredible um, a person in general. And um, looking at you know his presentation versus with the addition of his motivation and just how adaptable he is. He's absolutely incredible and it's hard to keep up with him. Um, so it's hard for his braces to keep up with him. So it's it's just as hard for orthotists to really get to understand what he needs and try to find the best fit for someone that is that motivated um, and really can adapt to anything. But, you know, again, we're really just trying to look at that individual as an individual and and see what it is we can do for them and what they want, right? Um, and then, you know, over time, hope to find the right combination for, that will work for them. Every orthotist I think we've been with really is, has, you know, come at Owen, as, you know, a little bit differently than, than maybe they, they come at other kids. But, you know, number one, it's to me, it's the compassion uh, and empathy they have. You know, they have a good understanding of, uh, you know, what he's, you know, struggling with, what he's, and then trying to understand what, you know, we want to accomplish. Um, and sometimes it's actually been where we've had two sets of braces where one were his everyday braces, then we had his sports braces, you know, to, to do afterwards. Now he's got a, you know, a combination of materials used in his braces that kind of let him use them for everything. Um, and then he breaks them at gym class um most recently um you know so you know it, it it's you know really though they it, to me that the best part of it is is watching him be able to do the things that he'd like to do in life just like his friends do i mean i had no idea what spina bifida was before we you know got owen's diagnosis you know most people don't necessarily know what it is right um but it's it, it's the most common uh you know pre-birth defect, right, uh, that, that affects children. Something we'll be running into in less than six years is that there's a lot of resources for children with spina bifida, but not a lot of resources for adults with spina bifida. Um, it's something I'd love to see changed. To learn more about spina bifida, visit spinabifidaassociation.org.